welcome back to today's Coast Daily Brew. Today I wanted to talk about a quote that I recently heard in a book that I am reading and it was the quote that life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you handle it. And I just feel like, I've heard this quote before, but I felt like very shooketh by it when I heard it. And I felt like it would be a fun little morning chat that we could have with coffee, which is on the desk. It's, it's really far guys and I'm just not, I'm just, I hope that's cool, I'm just not. So. Here's kind of why I think that this quote is really sticking with me right now. The whole life is 10% what happens to you and 90% what you do about it because I feel like lately I've been really introspective about taking responsibility for my life and I think that that's basically why I love this quote so much because it really does put 90% of your life in your own hands. It puts 90% of your life in your own responsibility and that's something that I think that is not always easy to do especially if you're feeling like you're going through a phase of your life right now where it's a lot harder to see the good and it's a lot harder to feel the inspiration and feel the motivation to get up and do the things that you need to be doing but at the end of the day your life in a lot of ways is an outcome of all of the decisions and choices that you've made up until this point point. and in this book it was the seven habits of highly effective people he also talks about Stephen Covey um, he talks about how not only is like basically life 90% our responsibility, but it's until we take that responsibility for our lives and until we take responsibility for exactly where we are with knowing that we played a big role in why we are where we are or why we feel the way we feel or where we're at basically with life, until we're ready to actually pick up the responsibility for our lives, we're never actually going to make any lasting change. We might find some short-term gratification or some quick fixes that might make us feel like, you know, it makes us a, it makes us feel a little better for a moment or there's a complete alternative to that and it's to just blame everybody else or blame something else for the reason why we are where we're at or feel the way we feel. And those two things are either quick fixes or actually, you know, I feel like they are both quick fixes because I feel like even the, the, the times that I find myself kind of blaming other things for why I am grumpy or why I'm tired or why I don't have something done or whatever, those are also, I think, short-term gratifications or a quick fix because it does make you feel a little better for a second as much as you don't want to admit it that it wasn't your fault, you know? It just kind of like lets you off the hook, but it also doesn't change anything. And so taking responsibility for our lives, it's not an easy thing to do. And I do really want to say, like, I'm not trying to always, I guess, fall everything under the same umbrella. And that's hard to do because I think the more and more I film these Coast Daily Brews, they're gonna get more and more specific and because there's only like there's just like there's so many different scenarios and so this might not be always the case. I don't want anyone to think that, you know, if you're going through something that's maybe a little bit more like heavier or more intense than this, that you have to sit there and be like, this is my fault. Like it's just important for me to get across that it's not your fault, but it is our responsibility. Our lives are always going to be our responsibility. We come into this world alone and we exit this world alone and everything in between. There's definitely interdependency. There's definitely other people involved, but it's nobody's responsibility but ours to pick up exactly where we are and move forward. And the crazy, wild, amazing thing about that is that where you are now and moving forward, that's only 10% of what your life is. There's a 90% chance that you can make a substantial change. There's a 90% chance that you can really like shift gears and, and just feel differently. There's a 90% chance, there's 90% of your life that is literally just waiting for you to show up and make something out of it. All the ingredients are laid out in front of you and you might not like the ingredients, but it doesn't mean that you can't mash them together and make an amazing meal, you know? So the whole 10% versus 90%, I love this. I love it because even though there are things that you might have going on in your life that you don't necessarily love, even if it's not gonna be easy, and trust me, it won't be easy. It's never easy to pick up the 90% of your life and really actually go for it, but I think that I love this quote because that whole 10%, it really minimizes all the things that we feel are like life ending and makes you realize like, nope, that's only 10% of what's going on in my life and there's a 90% chance that if I actually just take this 
look at it positively, try and find a good way to spin it into something amazing that I could make a souffle or I could make a stew or I could make a pizza that I really want to eat or like basically the metaphor that I can make a life that I really want to live. And so yeah, that's kind of at least I think I feel like that's my motto this week. My motto this week is life is 10% what happens to you and 90% what you do with it. Life is 10% the ingredients in front of you and 90% how you cook it, you know? And I am clearly very hungry. Um, looking forward to lunch very soon, but I'm just feeling very inspired to take on that 90%. I'm feeling very inspired to take full responsibility for my life right now and take full just responsibility for how I feel, just take full responsibility for work and take full responsibility for like your body, for your finances, for your goals, for your ambitions, for your level of happiness, for all of those things and make that 90% difference because there's 10% you can't control, but 90% that you can. And even just hearing that from an outside source sometimes is all we need to stop kind of sitting around and wait for life to happen and actually stand up and just do the most, put in that 90% and see what we can actually make change. So there you guys have it. That is my little motto of the week. Maybe you guys can use it too. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% what you do about it. And maybe we can just see exactly what we can do with that 90% before the end of this week. Feel free to leave me a comment down below what you guys are gonna do with your 90%. I think that right now, my whole 10% of where life has me at. So this is like the first week of my apartment alone now, back to solo living, back to living alone, so that's 10%, um, that's within my 10%, and I have a lot of work that I need to do, I have a lot of work that I want to catch up on, I have a lot of Utober stuff to do this week, which is super exciting, and just a lot of people to see, a lot of things to do, a lot of habits I'm trying to ingrain, so that's like the 10% formula, and now I'm about to put 90% effort into making all of it just like exactly how I want it. In a way, I feel like I'm making, if I were to be making ah, mm, apple pie, I feel like that's a good September recipe for life. So this is the weirdest metaphor that I've ever probably done in a Coast Daily Brew, but let me know your guys' recipe down below. Where are you at right now with life? What's your 10% and what's your 90%? Like, what are you gonna do about it? And aside from that, I will talk to all of you guys over a nice warm beverage tomorrow morning. Bye guys.